Hi, I'm Dalvin Harris for Bass City Beat. We're here at Lansing at the Great Lakes Broadcasting Conference, where today awards will be given to high school and college broadcasters. The MAB is a trade association for all the radio and television broadcasters in the state. Uh, we have 89% of all the radio and TV stations are members of ours. We're very pleased about that. And uh, we do educational programming, uh, legislative advocacy, and training. MAB is a foundation that encourages and sponsors activities that will improve the skill level of present and future broadcast employees in many areas. In order to continue the broadcasting industry as we know it, we need talented, diverse group of young people ready to enter our industry. And we want to do all we can to encourage them. We do all of the things that are important to help students turn into great broadcasters and give them all the assistance that they need, such as what you saw here today honoring them for the great work that they're doing in high school and college and making sure that we get a lot of sponsors so that we don't have to charge students to enter this and showcase the great work that they do. Dozens of awards are given out each year for many categories in high school and college television and radio. This year, Bad City Beat plays second in digital media experience. There are dozens of categories from sports to hard news so that young people in both college and high school get an opportunity to increase their abilities to report by entering the program. Why do you feel that shining a light on our young broadcasters is important? Because one day we old folks got to move out of the way <laughs> and we want to make sure that we have quality people replacing us. Uh, and it's about giving back. You know, no matter how successful we become in this business, we always try to remember that at one time we were where you and other young students are today, starting your careers, trying to fulfill those dreams. We spoke to a couple students about the entries they submitted and about their plans to pursue a career in their field. So what can you tell us about your entry? Well, the first one was for uh, Focal Point. It was Best uh, Daily Newscast and Sportscast. I was actually able to anchor with one of my good friends, so the chemistry was obviously there. It was a total team effort on that one. Definitely an exciting thing for that. And then my other one was um, Best Current Events Program sponsored by the Michigan National Guard. That I actually got to interview an, a local immigrant here in the Lansing area. What we entered uh, was uh, we, we did our, our live newscast and we won first place on that. We're very proud of that. Uh, we also went up for Station of the Year and um, then we submitted a bunch of other entries as well and uh, PSAs and things of that sort. I actually won a scholarship, um, the Nancy Waters and Mark Waters Scholarship um, for the University of Michigan. I was nominated by my professors. I plan to pursue a career in television broadcasting in news and journalism broadcasting. Do you plan on pursuing a career in any of these fields? Yes, I do. Uh, you know, we've got a career fair coming up very shortly here. Just going to apply and apply and apply and hopefully a station or somewhere will be interested in what I've done so far and hopefully I'll get a job. I'm a broadcasting major and I already work with the West Michigan Whitecaps and the Grand Rapids Drive and hope to keep going with sports broadcasting. It's been many, many years and each year the numbers increase. I think this year we had a record number more, almost 700 entries. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's getting bigger and it's getting better each year and we plan to make it keep on going forward. It's all about giving back and it's about looking out for that next generation. And in doing that, we make sure that the industry that we all love so much, it continues to foster as well. The foundation is dedicated to the preservation of Michigan's rich broadcasting history. Congratulations to all the recipients of today's event, and good luck to you as future broadcasters in your respective fields. For Bad City Beat, I'm Dalvin Harris.